Hello guys, Max from Storyline is here and today I will show you how you can use variables inside your Alexa skills. So yeah, let's uh, let's start from scratch. I'll create a new skill here. It will be called Sword Fight. And actually it will be a pretty simple, funny game for kids where you can, uh, let's say, have a sword fight with, uh, with your friend. And uh, I want to save uh, I want to have two players in the game, and I want to know their names. So I want to save their names into variables. So to do that, I need to create these variables first. So I'm going to this variables tab here and creating a new one. Uh, and let's say it will be called first name one. Uh, you're not allowed to use digits inside your variable names, so I'm putting the word one here for the first player. Uh, type will be US first name. Actually, if you open this drop down, you'll see like a hundred of different types. Uh, they are not uh, properly described yet, but we'll add a description later on. Uh, but most of them are pretty straightforward, so I'm uh, choosing this US first name and creating. You can also uh, add a description here, but it's not not uh, needed for me. Okay, so the first one is created, and I'm creating the second one. Uh, let's say it will be first name two. So it will be a name of the uh, second uh, player. Okay, uh, so back to our editor, and uh, here we need to add these variables to our uh, skill. Let's say um, it will open with welcome to sword fight, uh, who is fighting, right? And I'm creating a new user reply here and saying, uh, just imagine what user will say. So user will say something like uh, Chris and Ryan, right? So you put like first name one and first name two. Okay, we're creating a new block here. Uh, actually, I will add a couple of synonyms to this one uh, because it could be quite hard for Alexa to understand. I will, I will go with like first name one and first name two are playing. Just imagine different cases that the user can say here. Uh, first name one is plain and first name two plain two so yeah just a couple of synonyms uh here okay uh here we will have something like okay and um in this block you can actually already use those variables so they are they will be filled here uh, so let's go with, okay, first name one and first name two. Let's start the battle. Cool. Uh, I'll also add uh, a sound of sword fight here. Uh, making it public. So adding it here. Yep, uh, and then we go like, okay, the battle is over. Uh, I have decided uh, who won. Then we'll have some uh, drum roll sound here, like this one. And there will be really interesting one, so I'll randomly choose the winner. Uh, so let's say first name one won the fight. Congrats. And I'll add the second option here. And first name two won the fight. Congrats. So it will be choose randomly. Yeah, it's it's dummy, but yeah, it's a kid game, so. Okay, so we are done here. 
uh, let's deploy uh, our skill to the echo device and test it there. So basically concept is pretty simple. Um, you just put variables here to fill them out uh, in single brackets. Uh, to use them in what Alexa says, you just put them in double brackets. Um, that's pretty simple. You can also use, once variable is set, you can use it um, in, um, in all the further blocks. So let's say I create a couple of other blocks going from this one. I'll be able to use these variables here too. Uh, you are actually not allowed to uh, pass these variables into API requests yet, but uh, we are working on that. It will be definitely available later on. Um, so yeah, waiting for, uh, for Alexa to process it. Also, um, variables are like a native feature in Alexa, so we don't actually support them for browser preview. So you need to use a real Echo device to, to test them. Uh, but yeah, it can be like a huge, huge game changer for your skill. Okay, so our skill is deployed. Uh, let's try to open it. Okay, Alexa, open sword fight. Welcome to Sword Fight. Who is fighting? Chris and Ryan. Okay, Chris and Ryan, let's start the battle. Okay, the battle is over. I've decided who won. Ryan won the fight. Congrats. So yeah, as you can see, uh, it has understood the name, right? So basically two names, Chris and Ryan, and it put the names here and randomly chose the second player to win. So yeah, that's that's a basic concept of how variables work right now. Uh, I have used names here, but actually you can use really a lot of types here. You can use different cities, books, uh, actors, games, movies, phone numbers, and many, many more. So it definitely opens up a lot of possibilities. Um, so yeah.